Massive attack on Donetsk after Bakhmut, Ukrainian army carried out the biggest attacks of recent times. The operations launched significantly shook Russian presence in Donetsk. Russian media is very uncomfortable with the operations and is putting pressure on the Kremlin. The attacks were acknowledged by Russian media after a long hiatus. Ukraine has launched a huge operation. Kiev wants a significant part of Donetsk to be taken under control before the winter season. 14 missiles were fired in 10 minutes. Russian defense systems are helpless. Successive attacks on Donetsk and Bakhmut continue. The Russians were completely driven from Bakhmut. Description of the large air defense system from Western countries. Putin prays that the Patriots are not deployed on Ukrainian soil. Russia will lose only one trump card. Air defense systems can bring the end of Putin. After the victory statements from Bakhmut, a major operation was launched in Donetsk. The Ukrainian armed forces continue their operations both to the southeast of Bakhmut and to Donetsk. Ukrainian Eastern Command stated that the attacks will continue until the last Russian soldier leaves the region. Russian media announced that Ukrainian army carried out the biggest attack of recent times. Long-range artillery, HIMARS and MORS multiple rocket launcher systems were used in the launched operations. According to the first statements, it was announced that Ukrainian army carried out 40 different attacks in 10 minutes with a large number of rocket launchers. Russian media reported that 40 attacks were carried out in this process. However, Ukraine's Eastern Regional Command claimed 60 attacks were carried out in the Donetsk region. The main targets of the attacks were explained as Russian command centers, ammunition depots, military equipment clusters, and Russian positions in the region. As a result of the attacks, two large ammunition depots and eight Russian military equipment clusters were completely destroyed. In addition, a military facility in the region where Russia produces spare parts became unusable. Russian army, which was subjected to severe attacks, had to retreat. Moscow warned the soldiers in the region. It was stated that new systems belonging to the Ukrainian army were observed on the borderline. According to the statements made, it was announced that Ukrainian army could carry out 120 more attacks. Numerous rocket launchers and artillery units await orders to attack Russian positions. We know that the Ukrainian army has once again launched major attacks on Donetsk. In this process, the coordination of Russian army deteriorated to a great extent. The destruction of Russian communication centers in the region caused Russian army to begin to withdraw its troops. However, Russian army repositioned on the border line and took action to establish new command centers. Today, Ukrainian army carried out a reconnaissance flight of about three hours in the region. Reconnaissance flights were carried out with unmanned aerial vehicles. It has been announced that Ukraine's reconnaissance view observation units are also working in the region. It is known that as a result of the shipments, Russian army deployed a large number of armored vehicles, electromagnetic warfare systems, ammunition and fortification equipment to the region. In addition, a large number of Russian soldiers reached the front from the territory of Russia. Ukrainian artillery and rocket troops took action after receiving information and photographs from unmanned aerial vehicles. It was announced that the attacks lasted 15 minutes in total. It was stated that with the end of the attacks, eight Russian military equipment clusters in the region were completely destroyed. With the start of the operation, Russian troops in 15 districts were completely neutralized. With a single attack, 150 Russian soldiers were neutralized and 10 armored vehicles were rendered unusable. In addition, three more command posts and two more ammunition depots were destroyed. Moscow suffered a great loss. In response, Russian rocket units moved to launch a counterattack. However, Ukrainian artillery units in the northwest of Donetsk launched attacks on the area where Russian rocket launcher units were located. 
Because of this, Russian rocket units were soon forced to withdraw. From Ukrainian Eastern Regional Command, it was announced that Russian troops have started redeploying at the Donetsk border. Aid began to be sent directly from the territory of Russia, and new military equipment began to be delivered to the retreating troops. The critically important Bakhmut and Donetsk regions are very important for Russia and Ukraine. For this reason, Ukrainian army needs to increase its power in the region and fully defend the region because Russian army will not hand over the region directly to Ukraine. In this process, Russian troops are expected to carry out counterattacks. Kiev has announced that more missiles and rocket systems will be sent to the Eastern Front. Simultaneously with the operations in Donetsk, missile attacks began on the Bakhmut region. Ukrainian army attacked Russian troops in Bakhmut for three days in a row. As a result of the attacks, it was seen that all Russian positions in Bakhmut were destroyed. Many videos of the operations have been released and the attacks have been confirmed. No clear information was given about the casualties, but in the videos published, it is seen that many fortification equipment belonging to Russian army became unusable. Ukrainian General Starf stated that after the complete security in the Bakhmut region, detailed statements will be made about the Russian losses. Ukrainian General Staff reported that 772 Russian soldiers were neutralized in one day. In this process, Russian army lost 11 tanks, 16 armored vehicles, 6 artillery systems, 3 unmanned aerial vehicles, 5 ammunition depots and 33 engineering equipment. We can say that Ukrainian army carried out its most violent operations since the beginning of the war today. The Russians suffered their heaviest losses at the Lyman and Bakhmut fronts. The systems delivered by the Western countries to Ukrainian army perform quite well against Russian army. It is obvious that Russia has not been successful in ground operations. In this process, Kiev wants the delivery of new air defense systems to Ukrainian army. Ukraine and Western countries have come a long way in their air defense systems. Putin began to pray that Patriot Air Defense Systems would not be deployed in Ukraine. If Patriot Air Defense Systems are deployed in critical regions of Ukraine, other air defense systems will be sent directly to the front. After this process, all missile attacks organized by Russia will be stopped. The Russian defensive lines will have to retreat. Sending anti-aircraft weapons systems to Ukraine is crucial, as Russian military is constantly attacking Ukrainian cities and critical infrastructure. On Friday, Russian military carried out its ninth large-scale missile attack on Ukraine's critical infrastructure, launched more than 70 ballistic and cruise missiles, and hit at least nine critical infrastructure facilities in five different Ukrainian provinces. Although most of the attacks have been stopped, nine missiles hitting infrastructure facilities continue to be a problem for Ukraine. Kiev wants to stop all these attacks with its new air defense systems. The Russians also targeted Ukrainian capital, Kiev, with one of their largest missile strikes. Ukrainian air defense has a relatively good blocking rate. According to Ukrainian general staff, Ukrainian forces shot down 61 Russian ballistic and cruise missiles in the last attack. However, the missiles hit are damaging Ukraine's infrastructure facilities. Putin directly wants attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure facilities. These illegal attacks continue because of Putin's ambitions. Russian forces often use decoys such as outdated missiles or even unarmed nuclear munitions to engage and distract Ukrainian air defenses. The Patriot Air Defense System is an extremely capable system. The US military and NATO actively use thousands of them. These air defense systems to be sent could certainly help Ukrainian air defense in their mission. After the statements made, tensions between Russia and the West began to increase.